Hi there, I'm Joan Badger and we're going to look at the screen capture tool uh, using it online and why you might want to do that. So um, in the last tutorial I showed you that this was the screen capture icon and when you click on it you'll see that you get this capture tool. Um, again in the options you can choose to capture it to a new page uh, when you take your screen capture. So I'm just going to click on OK. If I um, go back to the website that I was on, you'll notice that the screen capture tool stays right here. And let's say if I want to go to the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives, I'm going to go into, let's say, Geometry, and maybe I want to look at some of the interactives that they have there. So if I click on this, and maybe I want to go into the GeoBoards, um, this is going to bring up our GeoBoard, and you'll notice in a second that a geo board will pop up and um, every interactive tool has a URL and you'll see that up here and I'll show you how to copy that in just a minute but as a reminder because I want to create a link to this I'm going to take a picture of it using the screen capture and I'm going to use that area capture so when I click on that I'm just going to take a picture of the actual geo board because this is going to remind me that this is where I want to come back to so it's just taken a picture um, and it's put it back right into Smart Notebook for me. But before I leave this page, what I'd like to do is go up to the URL and select the whole thing. I can copy it by doing Command C on a Mac or I can go up to Edit and Copy, Control C on a PC, and I've just copied this URL. So in the meantime, I can go back. to my Smart Notebook page and here's the image that I just captured from, from the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives. And right now that's just an image of a blank geo board. But I'd like to be able to, as I'm teaching my lesson, I'd like to be able to link back to that page. Um, so all I have to do, when you click on any object in Smart, you'll notice that it's got the, gr the blue dotted line around it, the blue box, and there's the triangle. This is our down arrow triangle, and when I click on it, you'll notice that a whole bunch of different options come up. But one of the options that I'm going to show you today is link. And the first thing that pops up when we see link is link to a web page, and this is exactly what we want to do for this case. Under address, I'm just going to paste that URL, I just did Command C or Command V for paste, but you could go in, into Edit as well. Um, and I'm going to. You have your choice here by either the corner icon, which I can show you what that looks like when we insert the link. You'll notice that now we have a little globe. That is a reminder that this image is a link to a web page. And if we clicked on that globe it would take us directly back to this page that we wanted to save. So it's a great way to keep organized. The other thing that you can do is rather than um, having it right on the corner, I'm just going to go back to link and instead of the corner I'm going to click on object and insert the link. You'll notice that globe disappears but when I hover over this I've got a little hand and that means that there is a link there and when I click anywhere on that object you'll notice that it pops up again here. Um, and then the, on this page, then you have the interactivity of a geo board. And that's one way that you could use the screen capture um, on Smart Notebook.